G'day folks, welcome to the latest installment of the Brothers Weekly Wrap. Uh, this week we follow on from our trip up the hill to uh, Queensland's highest town in Ravenside where we met Atherton Roosters across three grades. Uh, Atherton not fielding a second division side. Uh, day kicked off with a, a, a pretty exciting draw uh, between our under 18 sides, uh, 24 all draw. I know that uh, our under 18s are probably a little bit disappointed with the result um, and probably with the turnout as well, uh, the under 18s. Uh, use the opportunity to blood a few under 16s in that game and uh, that'll hold the guys in good stead when they head back to their under 16s matches this weekend but also as they come back up into under 18s uh, for next season. Uh, reserve grade, uh, really low on troops. Uh, we've got a, a massive amount of injuries, work commitments, uh, you name it. Uh, it's afflicted our reserve grade side. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, they battled away for a 24.16 win in what was a, a pretty high quality game of reserve grade football. Uh, the, you watched the game and you wouldn't have thought that it was first versus last on the table. Uh, it was quite an evenly matched side and our captain coach Callan Dunbar was in absolutely everything and, and really uh, steady side around really well and, and was responsible for uh, their win with a great performance. Moving on to A grade, uh, with the fall of the sun and the, the real drop with the temperatures, uh, came the A grade clash. Uh, we got off to a really good start. An error from the kickoff by Atherton gave us some good field position, and uh, James Dewar used a nice little bit of footwork to put Broski Emery Hunio into the corner. Uh, we were able to stick to game plan for the most part in, in the first half, and, and we were able to, to rack up a bit of a comfortable lead at half time. I think it was uh, 32 points to nil. Uh, before we hit the field in the second half. A little bit disappointing. We hit a bit of a flat spot there where we failed to complete for about six or seven sets in a row, which was a great shame. But uh, we did manage to finish strong, scoring a couple of uh, tries in the last five minutes, which was, which was pleasing uh, and allowed us to run out with a 54 points to 14 win. Um, the boys had a fantastic trip back on the bus on the way home. Uh, we always love the away trips and uh, it was certainly fantastic heading all the way out to, to Ravenshoe. Uh, it's obviously a cold spot but it's also one of the best grounds I think that you can watch a game of footy from. It's got a fantastic natural amphitheatre feel to it and uh, yeah fantastic ground and facilities and, and we'd really look forward to hopefully getting back there in the future as well for more CDRL games. And as a part of that, Ravenside Junior Rugby League, they, they hosted a fantastic day. Uh, nothing was too much trouble. And I'd really like to commend them on the efforts that went into making the day the success that it was. This week, though, uh, it's a new week and a new opposition. And this week's opposition is going to be a real tough one across all grades. Uh, there's no love lost between brothers and kangaroos. Obviously, old-time nemesis of each other. Uh, kangaroos found a bit of form of late in the A-grade uh, in the A-grade competition. Uh, we said earlier this year, after we'd played them at Vico Oval, that, that uh, it had been a false ruse all year. They'd been decimated with a mountain of injuries, and they really aimed up in our game against them uh, in round one. And I'm expecting this weekend to be no different. They're going to come into the game with a lot of confidence, having knocked off Ivanhoe's. Certainly expecting Kangaroos to come in full of confidence. They're going to be a a formidable opposition. They're playing with a lot of confidence, having knocked off Edmonton and Ivanos in the past two weeks, and they'll certainly be keen to add our string to their bow. Today's going to be a huge day for us. It's a super Saturday for us, so we have matches at Stan Williams Park all the way from under sixes, all the way through the grades, up to and including under 15s with the juniors, before we kick off into our second division under, sorry, our reserve grade. And then the main curtain raiser to the A grade clash will be the under 18, so we'll get the opportunity to play in front of a bit of a bigger crowd. Uh, but the day is also doubling as our reunion day. Uh, huge day with all former and past and present players from Brothers all making their way down to Stan Williams Park to catch up over a few uh, cold ones up on the hill. And finally, the day also goes a long way to hopefully helping us to secure this year's club championship. Uh, Kangaroos are our, our closest uh, combatants for, for that title uh, and if we can get a couple of wins this weekend it will certainly help our cause and, and assist us in kicking away to, to hopefully bring home that little bit of silverware for season 2015. So with the seniors games this weekend hopefully we can see as many Fish fans as we possibly can down at Stan Williams Park 
the senior matches, second division kicks off at 2 p.m. Reserve grade 3.30 p.m. and under 18s, they'll get underway at 5. And the main game, A grade, Brothers vs Kangaroos, that'll kick off at 6.30 p.m. Until next week, go the fish. <laughs>